Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a book review. And this particular book that I will be reviewing is a poetry slash short work collection. That particular poetry slash short work collection is Sleepwalkers by Nicole Lehner Montez. A few years ago, I went to uh, the Collingswood Book Festival in Collingswood, New Jersey. Yeah. I was with the uh, Garden State Speculative Fiction Writers, and we were at a table promoting previous anthologies that the club put out, including Speculations from New Jersey, which I made a contribution to. And this, uh, and while I was there, I went and saw some other uh, writers and authors, and one of which was uh, Miss Montez, who wrote a few uh, poetry collections, and uh, this one caught my attention the most, so I decided to uh, buy it and uh, own my own copy, uh, which includes uh, an autograph that she uh, included. She signed it for me, which I always enjoy that. But anyway, uh, this particular a uh, poetry collection explores areas that catch her uh, deepest attention, and that includes uh, issues involving uh, society, uh, social injustice, uh, race-related issues, and you can see that in her poetry, uh, her deep train of thought in such beautifully written and witty poetic form. Uh, some of the things she goes in one of her poems, uh, uh, Choices, uh, it explores whether or not the speaker would rather be shot by a black or white shooter. And it really touches up on uh, things that are being uh, uh, viewed in the news. Uh, these things have been going on, but it became pretty uh, with the whole with the uh, Trayvon Martin uh, incident with uh, Martin and George Zimmerman uh, that happened in 2013. This took this collection was released in 2012. So it's really catching up on uh, race related violence and. How she's able to explore it uh, in such a short but meaningful manner is just something worth exploring. Uh, I really enjoyed a poem called Extra Naked, which we are going to be going over on our fifth season. Uh, we filmed the discussion, and we were granted permission to uh, read it, which is quite honorable, I would say. I really enjoy being able to closely explore a poem, and whether you're looking at it analytically or in an emotional kind of way, it's really something that I enjoy discussing. And Extra Naked has to do with uh, what is really the difference between uh, different races. She doesn't just discuss the exterior problems among uh, her, her race, which she is of African and Mexican descent. So she is of two uh, minority backgrounds. And some of her uh, other, her poetry doesn't just explore the uh, uh, exterior issues, but she also looks at interior issues, many of which involve the uh, parenting. One of her finest examples that explores the uh, issues involving uh, parenting is uh, one called Direction, which has to do with uh, irresponsible uh, father who makes reckless choices that 
end up putting a greater burden on their uh, children, their sons and daughters. One of the most powerful parts has to do with that idea of when the father lives an irresponsible life, then it puts such a burden on the son that the son has to grow up so quickly to the point that the son takes on a more fatherly role while the father has never picked up his uh, maturity, which is just very repulsive, to say the very least. Another one is What About Me, which has to do with a daughter who has to look after her siblings while her mother is constantly producing more and more children, going out, having herself a time, then getting pregnant, and then having children. This is a 96-page uh, collection. Uh, most of what uh, Montez writes is poetry. She does, however, write shorter works, which take on a bit of a short story feel, but it's more so the fact she's just telling a, a short snippet, which it's kind of, it's similar to uh, some of the poetry that Robert Frost wrote that reads a bit more like prose, but has that lyrical feel to it. And either way, it does strike a powerful chord. And in these 96 pages, uh, Sleepwalkers is an amazing collection. And it is proof that poetry is definitely worth looking into in this day and age. I think that uh, Miss Montez is brilliant with how she uh, conveys herself, how she addresses social injustice, and if you notice, most of her writing is all lowercase letters and reads as if it is, she, it reads like train of thought. And it goes to show you that she's artistically expressing herself. And I feel that she does it in such a remarkable manner. And I think that a lot of people will get something out of at least 80% of her poems. Uh, and this 80% may not be the same 80% as myself. And I think that in many cases, all of the poems will interest people. I think it's that good, and that's why I gave it a perfect 5 out of 5 star rating on my Goodreads. I highly suggest that you check out Sleepwalkers, and I feel that Poetry in all of its forms, in all of its generations, is worth exploring. And I'll be sure to check out more of what Miss Montez has to offer. Thank you for tuning in to this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. And as always, I encourage you to keep reading.